Hello Libra, welcome to With Love Tarot. I'm back with your energy check-in. And as promised in your monthly reading, I'm doing something special for you for reaching the 1,000 subscribers milestone and your love and support. I have prepared a prosperity and abundance spell for you, which you will see in just a few moments. And I will also light the, this candle on camera. Now I'm asking that love, success, money, good health, happiness, and prosperity enter into your lives swiftly. So let's do this. So now I'm going to light your candle and I'm going to leave it lit until it burns out completely. It's going to take a few days to do so, but I will not disturb it. So I'm going to set this aside for you. Please tell me, what are the current energies and messages that my Libra viewers and subscribers need to know? Please give me a past energies card, a current and a future energies card, please, for my Libra viewers and subscribers. Wonderful. Love to see a nice reading for you guys. Bottom of the deck, we have four swords. So some of you are taking a time out in something or just kind of um, recharging your battery, so to speak, shutting out the rest of the world. Now, for your past energies, and could be something that you're bringing into the present, we have Nine of Cups, one of my favorite cards. Uh, make a wish, guys. So, either some of you in the past um, experienced some type of wish fulfillment, you got something that you really wanted that came your way, or this will come into your future. This is about just overall being very, very happy, right? Wishes coming in, manifestations coming through as well. And following that, we have the Ace of Cups. Oh, this is so, so beautiful, guys. Many of you out there are going to have a new beginning in love. And if you're already partnered, this just talks about strengthening that union, strengthening that bond. This is your cup runneth over, your heart being filled with love, loving energy, some type of new beginning as well. So beautiful. Now, you could also be doing with, uh, dealing with a water sign or somebody with water in their chart. Now, for your future energies, we, we have the Knight of Wands. So some of you are going to be getting some type of message or some type of offer coming through your way. It could be uh, something of passion as well 
right? This is somebody coming in very quickly. And if that's not your story though, this could also indicate just having some type of energy or burst of energy to get a project done or, you know, kind of getting that final push that you need to complete something, whether it's at school, a job, or just a project at home. Please clarify the Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Nine of Wands, please. Wow. A lot of major arcana here, guys. Bottom of this deck here, we have the Lovers. Very, very beautiful. Yes, yeah, so some of you out there are getting a chance at new love, or this is reuniting with your person as well really really beautiful here now clarifying the knight of cups it uh, we have the eight of cups for your past energies okay so immediate message i'm getting here is that some of you had to walk away from something to find your happiness uh because you realize that something or someone was not for your highest good okay but whatever you had to walk away from it was hard right whatever you had to put down it was not an easy decision because this is something that you had already put a lot of work into for others of you too, this just indicates being aware or having the knowledge that you do need to walk away from something or someone to get your happiness, to get your nine of cups, and you're having a hard time doing it. Now clarifying the ace of cups, we have the hierophant. Guys, there's really no mistake in what this is for me. Two storylines. Either you're going to get some type of commitment if you're with a person, you're going to bring this relationship to an actual more committed ground. This is my marriage card, guys. So if you're waiting on a commitment, this is a positive sign that one is coming for you. For others of you out there too, this is going to be about finding love you know, finally, where you're going to get this commitment, where you're going to, it's going to be marriage material, this relationship. And clarifying the Knight of Wands, we have the Magician. Guys, beautiful. What was I saying with having the energy in the Knight of Wands to uh, finish a project or complete something? Wow. It's really the same message here. Guys, you have every tool that you need to get something done. So if you have any question in your mind, whether you have enough assets or tools or resources to get something done or even energy or power, you have it, guys. You have the wand, the pentacle, the cup, the sword, and we have the infinity symbol here. So your energy goes on and on and on. It does not die. It does not end. You're very powerful this month going into December right so if there's some type of project that you needed to get done whether that's around the home you know something you've been putting off because it's it's, it's going to take a lot of energy to, to get it done or this is at uh, your work or at school this is saying you guys have everything you need to get the job done right if you have any doubt that you are enough you are I'm just going to clarify for a few final messages here Please clarify the Knight of Cups with the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups with the Hierophant. Okay, so this makes a lot of sense, guys. Clarifying the Eight of Cups with the Nine of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords. The number nine could be uh, meaningful for some of you out there, too. Uh, as well as the number 18 and 27. Now, um, this makes sense. Yes, the whole th the feeling I was getting with walking away from something... Um, I love that this is in the past. So for some of you out there, you were losing sleep over something or someone or having some type of anxiety that was keeping you up at night, right? And you finally were able to walk away from this and put it down, okay? Um, now, this could also indicate having some type of anxiety about walking away. You know, maybe that's what was keeping you up at night, Um but clarifying the Nine of Cups, I'm seeing that you got through it or will get through it. Now, clarifying the Ace of Cups with the Hierophant, we have another nine. We have the Nine of Wands. So, guys, this is about feeling defensive or protective in a situation. So, two storylines here. You are either very protective over your connection or union with somebody if, especially if it's a very committed relationship or uh, even a marriage that you're in, you could be feeling a very protective over it. For others of you out there too, this is telling me that you have a guard up in general, right? So the message here 
is that if you are looking for new love or you're looking for a relationship that's going to give you some type of stability or commitment in your life, that you have to put your guard down a little bit. I'll take another clarifier in just a few moments because some of you are feeling apprehensive or some uh, anxiety over something. This could also, another message that came through is that this could also talk about that some of you are finally getting the Ace of Cups or the Hierophant and you uh, feel it's a little too good to be true. You're waiting for the other shoe to drop. That's a message for some of you out there. And clarify Nine of Wands with the Magician, we have Temperance. More Major Arcana, beautiful guys. Uh, this is some of the same energy here. This is having the ability and patience. This is my patience card to get something done to see a situation through. So with the Nine of Wands, the Magician and Temperance, guys, like I said, you are going to have all the tools you need, including patience, including perseverance and energy to get through something to complete something that you're working hard on. Very beautiful. This could also talk about, too, for some of you out there, uh, healing a connection with somebody. This is just for a select few. Healing something, fixing something, working on that. Please clarify the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant with the Nine of Wands. What's this all about? Bottom of this deck, we have Four of Wands. <laughs> this is my other marriage card. So yes, guys, this is, for some of you out there, this is definitely about a, a commitment or union coming in for you or that you're currently in. Very, very beautiful, guys. This could also talk about, since we're around the holidays, uh, getting together with family and celebrating for Thanksgiving. So clarifying the um, Hierophant and the Nine of Wands, we have more wands. We have the Page of Wands. Okay, so this is about some type of message coming in, right, is the immediate feeling I'm getting here. Pages and Knights are my messengers of the tarot. So for some of you, one storyline here, you received a message or are going to receive a message, a love offer of some sort. It's going to be some type of stability, something that makes you very happy, right? And you could be a little bit um, fearful of it at the same time. Maybe you feel like it's a little too good to be true or you just have your guard up about it. And like I said, you could be dealing with a fire sign or with somebody with fire in their chart with all these wands here. And for some of you too, it's it's really the same message. It's about uh, you received some type of uh, message uh, that puts you on guard in a current union, uh, something to that effect, or you know you kind of want to protect a current union that you have. You're feeling a little bit protective over it. But in any case, it's very very beautiful energy and a lot a lot of passion here. Looks like a beautiful rest of your month. I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time with love.